this video is intended purely as a very brief overview of what the Gleason grading system is. This is a prostate biopsy showing prostatic adenocarcinomal prostate cancer. And once the diagnosis of prostate cancer has been made, the next task is to grade it. And the way prostate cancer is graded is using the Gleason grading system. In case you are wondering, the cancer is the area of cells with the red staining. The area of cells with brown staining is a gland lined by basal cells, and that is a benign gland on the right. The Gleason grading system is specifically designed for grading prostate cancer, and it predicts the prognosis of prostate cancer. And the way Gleason grading works is by assessing the pattern or architecture of the cancer cells, and not the appearance of the individual nuclei as in other cancers such as breast cancer. The Gleason grading system has been used for several decades although the system has been modified over more recent years. Perhaps the main reason why the Gleason grading system has had to be modified is that the old grades 1 to 2 are no longer used. So there are only three grades to choose from, grades 3, 4 and 5. So grade 3 is the best differentiated and grade 5 is the least differentiated and grade 4 is intermediate in differentiation. So in a nutshell, grade 3 is good, grade 5 is bad, and grade 4 is somewhat in between. Gleason grading still works by assessing the primary grade, that's the predominant pattern, and then assessing the secondary grade, and that's the second most predominant pattern. And the grades of the two patterns are then added together. So if the main tumour pattern is grade 3 and the secondary tumour pattern is grade 4, then the Gleason score is 3 plus 4 equals 7. If only one pattern is present, for example grade 3, then the score is doubled, so uh, the score would then be 3 plus 3 equals 6. But with a score of 7, that may be either Gleason 3 plus 4 or 4 plus 3. But the problem is that a patient with a predominant pattern of 3 will do better and the patient with the predominant pattern of 4, despite the same score of 7. And this conundrum was solved by introducing grade groups. So grade 1 is the best differentiated and the lowest grade group possible, and that is 3 plus 3 equals 6, and grade group 5 is the group with the worst prognosis and the highest grade, and that is with either 4 plus 5 equals 9, 5 plus 4 equals 9, or 5 plus 5 equals 10. And here are three examples of different patterns. This is an example of Gleason pattern 3 with individual glands. This is an example of Gleason pattern 4 with a cribriform pattern and fusion of glands. And finally, this is an example of Gleason pattern 5, with sheets of cells that are not forming individual glands. This is a very basic overview of Gleason grading. The reality is that it can be much more challenging and complex, with inter- and intra-observer variation. Yeah.